Hi, welcome to Monterey's Cooking. I'm John Fisto. Today we have a very special show. We have a very old, good friend of mine, Johnny Rivers. John? Good to see you again. Thank you so much for coming, man. It's always, it's always, we always have fun when you get here, you know. And uh, uh, the food's always great. <laughs> well, we got a lot of nice things we're going to be doing, let me tell you. But, uh, you know, I invited John to come, and uh, he's gracious enough to accept. And, you know, John, you've been in the music scene for, boy, a lot, a lot of years. And I know you're a Grammy Award winner, and I've got hit songs after hit song, and I mean, you're yeah, the man's a legend. You've been you've been there a long time, long time, and you and you're still doing well. You you're healthy, and you know that's uh, quite an achievement. <laughs> yeah, yes, I guess <laughs> <laughs> just to still be here. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but you know, John is from you know John is his name is Johnny Ramastella, and you know we're yeah. we're uh, the parents. Our parents were were dear friends, and man, when they'd get together, they'd have a Good time. That's right. Barbecue. Some great stories and, and good food. Just really good yeah. time. Now John, you're originally from Baton Rouge, Louisiana? I grew up in Baton Rouge. Actually, I was born in New York City and grew up in Baton Rouge, and then I moved out to uh, California in the early 60s. You bought, uh, you have a nice piece of property down in Big Sur that's a little getaway. Which I got in the 60s as well. In the 60s. That was, you know, the uh, first time I came up to this area, We, I was one of the guys who put the Monterey Pop Festival together. That's right. That's and, right. Uh, somebody took me down to Big Surf for lunch on the second day. I'd never wow. been there before, so that's how I, uh, you know, wow. found out about Big Sur. But I fell in love with this area immediately and kept coming back. And eventually, my parents moved up here from uh, at Los Angeles. You know? mm -hmm. And then I guess that's when I met your parents. Yep, and, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. It was a nice story. Nice. Story. They were such good friends. They had a lot of fun together. Yeah. Uh, beach parties and uh, man, they. And your dad was a musician. Well, yeah, he played guitar and mandolin, mm -hmm. uh, but he painted too. He was a house painter and he finished furniture and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I don't, I really, I don't think he could make a living playing music. Yeah. It's not an easy thing to do. <laughs> but uh, he, that's how I actually started playing. Right. My dad always had a guitar around the house. And and, and New Orleans was uh, was your stomping grounds. Yeah, in Louis the, Prima and in the some of those late fifties and early sixties. Yeah, great that's stuff. Right. Really great stuff. Well, you think maybe you could uh, do us a little something? I think I did this song on, uh, this, as a matter of fact, we just talked about the Pop Festival. This was a song I had out around the time of the Monterey Pop Festival. And uh, I, I think I did it on one of your other yeah, I think shows, you did. but it's I'll a, do it again. It's, it's always thank, thank <laughs> it's it's one an one easy song to play on an acoustic guitar. Great. Oh, yes. <laughs> we remember that. <laughs> oh. 
Thank you, Governor. Just fat. Wasn't that fabulous? Just fabulous. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Well, you know what? You like mushrooms, right? Oh, yeah. And uh, I think we have a very interesting mushroom show we're going to do with Johnny today, folks. So uh, when we come back, we're going to be in the kitchen. John, again, thank you for that intro, man. That was fabulous, huh? Oh. I really, thank you. Man, hey, welcome. Great guy. Uh, okay, mushroom extravaganza time and wild mushrooms. How much you know about wild mushrooms? Uh, enough to not eat them <laughs> when I pick them, when I see them. Hey, very, very wise advice, folks. Yeah. If you don't know what it is, do not eat it, okay? Yeah, really. We're experts. David Aurora happened to pick these for us. David is the author of these two books. Right. Okay? Now, I know he picked these up in Santa Cruz. And look at these, John. Wow. This is the beautiful coccola, it's called. I mean, feel that. Yeah. Isn't it? They have a nice feel to it. And it has oh, like yeah. a handkerchief on top. Oh, yeah. Now, this is the Amanita. It's in the Amanita family, which is also a deadly poisonous one. However, coming from David, we know these are very, very sick. And besides, you're going to eat them first. I will you? eat them first. <laughs> I usually, there, there's some checks on how you, how you make sure that these are the animal ones. But David brought these, so I know these are good. We're going to make a salad out of this oh, great. that is, is done in, uh, in northern Italy every uh, year about this time, around fall. And they make a raw salad with this with extra virgin olive oil and lemon and black pepper and salt. And oh, I man. tell you, it's the most delicate thing. And this is one that's very similar to this, but it's a red cap. It's called the Caesar Amanita which was Julius Caesar's favorite mushroom. Interesting stuff. Wow. Now, the next one we're going to do is a chanterelle. And these are from here, OK? These are from uh, north of Santa Cruz. And these are a little weather beaten because, you know, we've been having some real cold weather. So they're a little frost bitten. Mm -hmm. We're going to do something with those. Now, look at this baby. Oh, my god. Now, is that impressive? I know some musicians that have that kind of hair. <laughs> <laughs> That is well, impressive. <laughs> I tell you, if they smell like that, I'd cook them. <laughs> <laughs> smell this. It smells like the pine forest. Oh, yeah. Isn't that amazing? It is. Now, this is, this is a pretty large one. This is called, we call it a cauliflower mushroom. It's a, a Sparasis uh, crispa is the, the, the Latin name for it. These are, uh, you find these uh, all around here. Monterey, oh, you find them. Okay. Big Sur, you find them. Uh, I think this one came from Mendocino. And the ones we find here are usually about this big. The this biggest one I've ever seen is this big. Wow. They get up to about 40, 50 pounds. Amazing. We're going to cook this whole and serve it like a roast turkey. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay, now, my favorite mushroom of all, of all mushrooms is the porcino. Oh, okay? Yeah, classic. Porcino, you've heard of these. Italy is called porcino. You've heard in France they call it a sep. The name for it in Latin is Bolitus edulis. I've been looking and looking, and this is all I have found for the last four days. And I don't know why. I wonder who's got all the porcini around here. Could it be someone I know? I think so. Look at this, John. You want to see some? This is obscene. Man. Hi, John. How's it going? <laughs> boy. Bobby boy. This. Look, uh, folks, yeah, great. Hey, folks, this is score it. Here, huh? <laughs> this is called, Bobby, you ought to be proud. Well, you taught me, John. Well, so. you know, folks, there's a contract out of this guy now. <laughs> <laughs> Bob has really learned how to collect mushrooms, let me tell you. Now, you've got all these up in Mendocino, which is having a fabulous year this year. It is really wet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice. A lot of them are sprouting. Yeah. Man, look at the size. Look at these. And these, each one is hard as a rock. I mean, you know something? If we were in Italy, we'd have to have armed, armed guards on both sides with carbines protecting <laughs> us. Because these, these, this, these are worth a fortune. You know that? These are yeah. worth a fortune. And look at the, I mean, these are gorgeous. Well, John, you told me you wanted some for the show. I didn't know what size, yeah. what variety. So I, I figured I'd get them all. Yeah, and boy, let me tell you, you did get them all. <laughs> Those people in Mendocino aren't going to like me. Nope, nope, I tell you. 
David Aurora was here. He says, boy, oh boy, he says, we're going to buy you a free ticket next year. Anywhere you want to go, keep you out of town for a couple weeks. <laughs> well, you know, Bobby, that, I will thank you for sharing these. And, uh, you know, fooling around with these, I've come up with a recipe which I think is the finest, finest, finest way to cook these. And I'm going to share it with the guests today. I know on my column we shared it. And I want to show people how I actually make them. Okay, I think, I think it's probably the finest way to do it. So, Bob, look, I'm going to use a few of these. Take what you want. There you go. Well, let's see. I don't know which one to take. This one, this one. We'll get the same size. This one, this one, this one. Whoops. Okay, that's good. Maybe just one more. <laughs> Maybe just one more. Jeez, oh my goodness, it's like Christmas. Well, John, I can't believe this. This is my Christmas present to you. There you are. Oh, so my God. I'll put the rest of them outside and you can get cooking. Bobby, you're the best. Huh? Really, you're the greatest, man. <laughs> oh, you taught me. Thanks. Yeah. All right, John, Thanks. it's good to see Bobby, you. Good to see you. When we All come right. back, we're going to start cooking these babies. Okay, John, you ready for this? I'm ready. Oh, boy. Okay, first of all, you got to get the oven going real, 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 real high. I got about four something. I'm going to put a little bit of water, like this. And then I made escargot butter. Wow. Now, escargot butter has got a lot of garlic in it, and the green is from the parsley and salt and pepper. What I want this to do is to melt down and chew it. Now, I had uh, some of this, in, you know, I had, I had this, this species of mushroom in France, and the guy roasted it, and I said, you know, I gotta try this. And this may be one of the best things I've ever done, or it's gonna be one of the biggest messes I've ever made. But I, you know, something tells me it's gonna be good. Trust me on this one. All right. Looks good so far. Don't make any funny faces. <laughs> you you got to trust me. Okay, now we're going to do this. I'm going to cover it up. And we're going to steam this baby just like a... A big turkey. Like yeah. a turkey. And then we'll brown it at the last minute. And this, surprisingly, will cook pretty quickly. All right, John, can you get the door for me, please? Sure. Yo. There it goes. Okay, let's time that. Now, the next ones. Now, this is the one we're serving at the restaurant. John, you won't believe how simple and delicious this one is. Now, look at this. You go like this, you go like this, you go like this, and then you go like this. Now, I haven't tried portobellos, which is really easy to come by. These are very, will be very hard to come by. Now, you know, this just screams for a bottle of Cabernet or Pinot Noir and French bread and, and uh, you know, that kind of an appetizer. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's just, it's a natural. I mean, this is simple. And what all do you put in this bottle? Okay, here? that's a good question. Okay, this is fresh garlic, butter, sweet butter. Oh, you have to use sweet butter. Sweet butter. And then you put uh, chopped parsley, garlic, and the secrets here are you have to mince them very, very fine. So you can use a food processor. You gotta mince it almost to a paste, but not quite. And then you melt the butter and then you incorporate it together. Okay, salt and pepper. So it's just the parsley that gives it that yeah, green texture. Yeah, beautiful color. color. Uh -huh. okay, this goes in the oven over there. Oh, the other oven. Yep. Okay. See? Be right back. Okay. Now, John, I, boy, I'm dying to show you this. I'm dying to make you try it. Now, they peel very easily. Look at that. Beautiful, oh, yeah. huh? And this is like a handkerchief. Look how nice this comes off. Oh, just like beautiful. that. Well, John, I got one question, though. We just put those in the oven. Now, how long do you cook those? Okay, you're going to blast them. Oh, you just, okay. You know, 400 degrees, I think 15, 20 minutes, they're done. 15 to 20 minutes. The okay. big daddy over here, 
<laughs> I don't know. We're going to have to check them. And I'd say like maybe a turkey, an hour. Like just poke it yeah. or something. You know? But I'm going to okay. blast them. I've eaten these raw, so you know they don't have to be super, super cooked. Yeah. See, so now we're going to wipe it. And look how nice these cut. These are so nice. So cut it like this. Now, this is an indication that it's, it's the right type of mushroom. It's hollow. This was the poisonous one that would be solid. Okay, so we're going to cut it very fine, like this, like this, like that. Boy, I'm so I'm so happy we found these. This because uh, it's pretty very very unusual. So nice, look at that, beautiful. Cut like that. I go like this. And I tell you, we were in Rome. Every table was eating this. And even, you know, we did some stuff in Porto Fino. And all the restaurateurs, they, they are also serving this. I mean, and the season's, I think, rather short over there. These are real pretty delicate mushrooms. Okay, like that, like that. And like that. And this is the time... I'm sure you use a lot of olive oil at home, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So now's the time to use your best olive oil. We put a little pepper, and we're putting lemon juice. And just a little bit. Okay. Extra virgin. All right. And then I'm going to do just for contrast. I like to give it a little parsley. And that's it, John. Wow. Doesn't get any more simpler than that. Use any salt in it? Or? Did I put salt? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> okay, put a little salt. And John? That's it. Boy, amazing. There you are. All right, I get the first bite, huh? Well, you want me? To, I'll take the first bite. Yes. Okay. Right, it takes you're 20, still, takes 24 still. hours, though, before. Oh, is that it for you? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's how I like it. Very good. Mmm. Delicious. When we come back, we're going to we're gonna pull those things out of the oven. Stay tuned. Oh, these are great. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. When you get some chanterelles this year down there, I want you to try this. Okay, this is sake. Some people think chanterelles taste like dried apricots. So let's really make them taste like dried apricots. Put some in there. Huh? Putting a few in there. Nice idea, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to put a little of that. And we put a little bit of garlic. And we'll just smash it up like that. And I'll need a little bit of butter. So I'm going to use this butter here just for some, because I want to put some fat in there. Now, isn't that, is that easy? Oh, that was simple. That is just simple. Okay, and that'll go in the oven. Oh, oh yeah. look at this one. Okay, so what we're going to do, this is the way I like to show it first, see? Show it off a little bit. People can see it. Know that? Man, oh, man. oh boy, that's got oh, some smell. Okay. okay, oh yeah, this is cooked perfect. Okay, see that? Like that. And then we get all that garlic butter. And we go like that. Oh boy, that looks good, doesn't it? Oh boy, look at this. Beautiful. Look at this. And all I would do to this, John, and clean make the this, plate. clean the plate, and I'd go like this. And that's it. Oh man. Is that gorgeous? Okay, oh, oh, get a good shot of this one, Danny boy. All right, Giovanni. All right. I mean, look at it. Cut it just like a piece of meat. Oh, it's beautiful. 
Okay, now watch it's a little hot. A little hot. And maybe you want to dip a little bread in there. All right, maybe I'll just take a little bite. And here. maybe a little wine with that, too. Mmm, what do you think? Excellent. Okay, John, please taste the cap now. All Tell right. me what you think. Now, you know, our featured wine today is Sterling. Oh, now, yeah. you know, everyone knows Sterling, right? Sure. Very, very famous Excellent. brand. Very, should go unbelievable. You know, this is their, their one of, I think, probably one of their most prestigious uh, bottles, mm. the Three Palms, and this Napa Valley. Now, if you tell me if this goes with the garlic and the butter. Oh, that's good. Good? Perfect combination. I knew it would have to work, you yeah. know what I mean? Delicious. Very good. Now, you know, they're, they've got a brand new uh, uh, tasting room up in Napa. It's supposed to be spectacular. We hope to go up and see it. This, and this one we ought to taste with their Chardonnay, all right? Okay. See what all that's right. like. Now, this so is with the sake and a little, little garlic. Oh, that's and, a whole different thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is a little different. Let's see what we got with that one. Maybe we go dip into the bread. Is it mm. sake? Yeah. Not bad, huh? Not bad. You can taste those apricots oh, in there. Oh, wow. Well. All right. Good. Okay. Yeah. Now, now for the moment of truth. Holy Whoa. moly. It's like a Christmas turkey. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. Maybe the white wine might be good with this one. Yeah, actually, we taste four mushrooms today. Um, Oh, delicious. Text, I think these, these mushrooms are about texture. Yeah. Also, and I think simpler, the better, and I think I really hit on this one. This is a good one. See you next time.